In this video, I will be showing you guys how to turn on Pack Punch for the final rock, which is of course the brand new Zombies map for Call of Duty World War II Zombies. And it is very simple. All you need to do is turn on the power, and I will give you guys a refresher. But let's just say you are someone new that is playing the final rock, and you do not know how to turn on the power. Hey, I got you. There should be a dedicated link down in the description below, or a dedicated link to a guide that I just made as well. So check it out. There should be other links, of course, to the Wonder Weapon tutorial and. I will have a second bonus zombies map gameplay link down below as well so check all of that out if you need to but uh, essentially what you're gonna do here is that you're gonna turn on three valves and then you're gonna uh, start up a trap and you're gonna go down inside the bunker by that door and crank up a device and then you're gonna buy up two more doors and you're going to turn on two switches yes there are two switches and you need to turn them on and when you do that of course you're working towards the pack punch and you're also working towards the Easter egg as well everything works coherently and after you do that basically what you need to do here is there will be a door that you can now purchase inside the bunker that will cost 1250 jolts aka points and once you do that there is going to be another door behind the bunker that will cost 1500 jolts and that will take you right where the pack punch room is and yes this is the pack punch room of course we have seen it inside the trailer as well of course a lot of people were saying that's not the pack punch and a lot of people were saying that's the pack punch and boom that's a pack punch and what we're gonna do here is we're going to raise up the cage now there will be a red button inside this area that will raise the cage just a tiny bit but we need to actually go around the map and find three more red switches and basically all you need to do now is that you need to go outside and you need to go outside of the spawn room there should be a tower that's exactly where you need to go and you will see there should be something like if you have played Zetsubunoshima you know like the sewer area right there will be sort of like that area and you need to take it and that will just bring you to the uh, the cage area aka the pack bench area once again and once you fall down here that will lower the bars or that will raise up the bars and now you will see another red switch you need to turn it on of course I will have the gameplay in the background as well that will show you exactly what I'm doing uh, so you will see that red switch turn it on and boom you have done this for the second time and after you do this you need to do it again for the third time as well so simply head back to the main bunker area and you will see another area right here uh, of course once again I will have the gameplay that should show you exactly what to do so entering the sewer area of course like this is similar to the Zetsubunashima one but it's just like super super small so just take it and that will make you make sure you get back to the cage area and that will just raise up the bars once again and just around it you will see another red button so turn it on and now we need to go back to the laboratory and you will see another Zetsubunashima sewer system and this is gonna be the last one we just need to go there we need to take it and that will just make sure that you fall back inside the cage room and uh, that will just like raise up the bars and you will see another red button just turn it on and after the cage has been fully raised because it will it will reveal the pack punch machine and you can just put your guns down and voila you can pack punch your guns for 5,000 points now if you're looking for other tutorials links should be in the description check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new leave a like and all that sort of good shit but i'll see you very freaking soon